ever stop? Do they ever stop coming? Well, we tried. Fracture ward, I guess. That's not what I wanted. Oh boy. Harrison Wolf here with another large dosage of truth and nonsense on Two Point Radio. So stick around, you know, unless you have something better to do. More trains with the rabbit pay. Hey, how's your shift? How's your day? How's your time going? Oh, that's good, I guess. Uh, did I do the thing I do? Okay, good. How are things? In this tiny little room. like ward management and stuff like that, you know? Oh no, is it because they're like the shifts longer unfortunately for you? Is that what's going on? Okay, well if you're looking for work, get on in there, little buddy. I think I, I think all my nurses are learning things right now. Don't fuck this up. I'm watching you. Okay. Okay. My evil janitor. I find hilarious that they had to hire him because I think he was the only one that actually had oh no do you guys still have to like isolate or anything if you come into contact with somebody I don't even know what's going on anymore I feel like everybody's just sort of everywhere right now if that makes any sense. Did the nurse just leave? What? Okay, let's give 
give that a shot, I guess. You just, you just live with it now? Yeah, I think we're kind of the same as well. You just sort of... You just sort of deal with it. And then pretend like it doesn't exist anymore, I guess. I have no idea. I don't know what we do anymore. I don't have one of those. I need to save some money because... Where does everybody keep going? They keep leaving. Nobody's, oh, you know why? I bet you it's because I can't have them working in there. That's probably why. I've probably done the things. Okay. Need to get you trained for pharmacy. Take a break then. Get your food. I have things in the staff room here, I think. Yeah. I think you're tired too. I think you should. Give yourself a break. You know? Just. That's our biggest thing. Stay home if you're back. What is this? What is this? Okay, well, that's it. We treat nothing else now. Love to have you work in here. Okay, good. There's nobody in here. Well, there's nobody in there. You were going... Wow, that's... That's very kind of you. I was also invited to a New Year's thing, and I'm like, no. I don't care for New Year's to begin with. Never have. Like, I'll stay awake, but, like, I won't keep track of time. Okay, what in the hell is going on? I have spent money training you. Double the treatment. You have injection. You are not a rising star. You have failed me. If you've got any Your treatment skills 90%. You idiot. What the fuck are you doing? We need a cure rate of 60%. You absolute idiot. I need to train somebody in pharmacy management too, by the way. We can't have those types of people working for us anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. I know that one a lot. Like, you want to do something because you need the social interaction, and then you're also like, no, I don't. Or you go out there and you're like, why have people peopled? Here they come. Uh, sure, I mean, we can try. Oh, the 8 bits are here. I've been thinking about that also. It's just one of those things where, like, it always kind of creeps onto the back of your mind sometimes. And then... Yeah, I just I go into a, a whole thing, and I'm like, I don't... No. And, like, there's only a select few people that I would, like, go out with, and, um... I don't know. The one person that I've like also known the longest, I I just I don't I just don't Yeah. I'm not a fan. So like in actuality, I've got three doctors. Somebody's a little grumpy with pay. There you go. Eight percent. You you disgust me. Okay. 
and my sweet janitors. How are they doing? We gotta upgrade 15 machines, guys. Like, are we fucking kidding right now? What? All right, we're building a pans lab now. Fucking, sorry, I don't know why I turned the camera in that weird regard. Extract a pan. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't want this. Danny. A large ratio. Look at this shit. Can't they figure this garbage out for themselves? Also, I hate that this has to be like a 4x3 room. I feel like we could not get by on uh, a 3x4 room. Dear God, how much fucking money do you need? Greedy people. Okay, is somebody going to get on over there? To I built the pans lab. I know, I need to start upgrading our machines like really badly. Okay, well if you're looking for work, let's get on over here, my friend. Don't you fucking leave. No, don't. Why? Are, why? Why are you like this? Just work in pans lab, please. Thank you. Should probably put some benches out. Yeah. Oh my god, I feel like... Standing room. Thank you. I decorated it terribly. He's a happy boy. Somebody has failed me. My top notch treater. Failure. Uh <laughs> Yep. Oh my god. Like, somebody fucking help me. I don't think you should be working in the wards, though. Can we talk about that? Poppy Hunt? How are we going? It is time. Not yet. I really need to get pharmacy training in there. My chief nurse is really not doing great. You have fucked us over for the last time, potentially. Okay. Two point radio is roving reporters. Sally Flick Blanket visited some what a powerful name. From the Sally Flick Blanket. And you'll be able to enjoy it just as soon as we figure out how to show it to you over a radio set. 
We've got trash. Uh, there's a glitch in the matrix sometimes. Happy killed someone. <laughs> I know, it's quite jarring sometimes, isn't it? To know that they done fucked up. I just, this is the shit that bothers the, the ever-living garbage out of me. Especially when I see things like this, where you've got double the treatment power, right? So you've got plus 10. Uh, plus you know how to manage the injection room. Plus you've got ward experience. And then you have another treatment, and then you've killed someone? That does not compute for me. Does not, it just, it does not work. I'm sorry. Does not fucking work. Take a break. If you're hungry, then get some goddamn food, my guy. He seems confused and scared. There he goes. Okay, he's figured it out. Look how happy he is now. <laughs> Ugly environment? I really need to get somebody involved uh, with pharmacy management because we got shit working for us. We got shitty people working for us right now. But no pharmacy management. I could scream into the heavens right now. Ugly environment. First of all, why are you commenting on my environment? That is awfully rude of you. And second of all, we lost $8,500. So excuse the fuck out of me. Some people. Some fucking people. The nerve of them. Let me just, uh, I need to, I only have two janitors right now. Both of them are looking for work. Uh, evil, he's my evil guy. If you need the toilet, then go on break. If I have to hire another one, I'll hire another one. Okay, what are we working with here? Everybody's about the same. Let's get this guy going, I guess. There you go. Okay. Ugly environment. I can't believe he said that. It's just so rude. How do you want me to make this prettier? The Dolpha Fountain? It's 11 grand, okay? I refuse to put that in here. It's actually not as large. I thought it was going to be larger. <laughs> <laughs> and I was ready to, to mock it, but it actually is not that big. Purple bench. Grace is comfort. Silver. Oh, sorry. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, we may have a lot of... Uh, I guess they could... Ooh, Psychiatry 2? What about Pharmacy? Nothing for Pharmacy. I do need a Ghost Capture. Oh, he's upgrading my drug mixer. I can't have that. I do need to train somebody in Research 2, though. I need that. I need to upgrade. Upgrade that skillage. Three fucking staff. Are you kidding me? Somebody's done something. Oh, great. Here we go. Here we fucking go. I'm gonna watch this guy. He's, he should be fine. He's got nothing. He needs for nothing. He needs for nothing.
what I fucking thought you said. That's what I fucking thought you said, bitch. I should also probably upgrade that. So, one, two, so that'll put us at four. I think I've got this one to three. We're, we're gonna be here for a while. 15 machines to upgrade is no fucking joke. And I don't know if you guys know, oh my god. Sure. Again, get out of my fucking hospital. <sighs> Hang on, here it comes. I'm going to do normal. Nice. Excellent. Why are you so slow? What am I teaching you? Hey, my pals. This tip for those who like to stay up might be a bit obvious, but it's still worth exploring. Oh, God. Night TV. More ward management. I need pharmacy very badly. Sports. You find a really sure, why not? Stuff. For taking risks now. Chess. Make your own bomb shelter tutorials. It's all out there. Oh, somebody's got the zoomies. Somebody did have the zoomies. There he goes. I can't though because we're still learning because somebody's a slow poke. I'm going to also need to You have a 90% cure rate. Why are you like this? I, like, do you ever just want to, like, reach through and slap someone? Because I want to. How are you doing? You doing good? You're quite ugly and fire guy. guy. Oh, fuck that guy. If you're hungry, would you like to take a break? You shouldn't. Oh my god. I swear to god. Oh god, here they come. Both of them are coming. You need to take a break. And then one of you is going to go back. I need pharmacy. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. I hit too many buttons. God damn it, every fucking time. God. Come on, man, we're so close. Again, see? You've been kicked out of my hospital. Remove yourself from my hospital. Thank you. We're almost there. More tips for all you night owls out there. It's 
Squirty Palm, just a two-point town that never sleeps. So why not take a walk around there with a notebook and some binoculars and have yourself a safari expedition? Just keep your distance from drunk students and other feral animals. <laughs> yeah, you, this, you know what it's gonna. You know what the ridiculous thing is. The two parts of this that are gonna take us the longest. Three staff in Research Three that we have to train. Oh God! And then the upgrading of machinery. Why does everybody think my hospital is ugly? on top of it. I don't even have to worry. <sighs> okay. So you can work in pharmacy. I don't want any of you fucks working in pharmacy. Because it doesn't matter, apparently, how much treatment skill you have. <laughs> you can still fuck this shit up, apparently. <sighs> Angry. See, the other issue I have now is that I'm kind of sitting on not a lot of money because... Again, oh, we needed to have this. This was so important. We've cured four people. Granted, the room's paid for itself. I mean, but like, what? Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. Take a fucking break, then. God, everybody's just such, so fucking grumpy. There you go. I've got two nurses working. What a star. You want training? All right, well, let me see what I can get you. Night owl, Paul Bags. Whoa, that was too, way too much money. Pastime you'd like to share. Keep a watch in your garden gnomes using night vision and camera. Garden traps. gnomes scare me. Paul is convinced one day he'll capture footage of them coming to life. If you want to join his course, have at it. Yeah. See, this is the issue we're having right now. Okay, well, if you're thirsty, I've got fucking things in here for you. I specifically put things in there for you guys. Everybody thinks my stupid thing is ugly. He went back to work all by himself, so. Oh, no, he didn't. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Poppy Hunt. I'm apparently, I think I need to start investing in some plants around here to make it look prettier. Allegedly. Well. There you are. There you are. Did, did 
that make you guys feel better now? Do you like this? I have been also obsessed. I don't know if you guys, um, how much you use the old Instagram and or uh, TikTok. But I have been obsessed with this one chick's uh, review of, I think it's called Werner Herzog's like catalog or something like that and oh my god it's so hilarious like just the way she turns everything into an existential crisis super duper okay um Who's going into the pharmacy? Guys, we have lost a lot of money because we have no massive things. I really don't want to have to restart this level, but. How did I not have best training hospital? I'm just a little concerned, you know? Where is my pharmacy nurse? Okay, both of my peoples are working. My pharmacy nurse is is on break right now. Why though? Yeah, you're on call. Rising star my ass. Your treatment skill is still only 60%. Can I fit a chromotherapy in here? I don't think I can. Ah, see, but look, the extractive pan. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to send you home. I don't know where I'm going to fit a chromotherapy. What did we say we were going to buy? Maybe a flat three. Or four. Because <laughs> if that's the case, then I can maybe punt some of this stuff across uh, some of the larger ticket items. I could punt across to like here, say. That's 55 and then that's still close to the uh, subway helipad. There we go. That's what I like to hear and or see. So we can each do this a time more. Oh, take a risk it for the biscuit approach. Oh. What do, what do you have that you need? If this person dies, I take full responsibility for this. Is somebody else going in? Alright, I think I trust you more so. Alright, somebody's already in here. What is it? Why can't you people do anything right? Why can't... What is it? Is this room cursed? Is that what it is? Is it cursed? Oh, it's one of these guys. First room. Of 
please, I need money. <laughs> I need to do things here. 15 fucking machines is a lot to ask for. Where am I going to fit achromotherapy? I would love to build a chromotherapy. It's because I made this so large, but you need to have multiple beds. Oh God, here we go. I don't know why you are upset. Like, it's making us money. I don't know where. Gotta get my drug mixer fixed, too. I mean, at this point, it could be a fucking free-for-all, and I wouldn't know. Can I tell you guys a secret? I really, really want to start this over again. Because I feel like these people are absolutely fucking useless. Every single person I have is useless. Like, I, I, I'm so mad. What? Stop fucking pestering me. Oh I'm trying to save money so that I can buy spaces I told you to get the fuck out of my hospital good day Honestly, what about the other one that you just killed? Fuck sake. Another night owl listener has called with a tip for those who can't sleep. Alfred Crockery suggests you break into one of the county museums and switch the labels around on all the exhibits. Don't see the point myself, but each to his own. I just really need Yeah, I just kind of really want to start this over again. I can't afford to buy the property I need to start putting this stuff in. Please work in the pharmacy. This just feels like one of those things where we're never going to get ahead. Yeah, all these people are great. 
Like, do you see what I mean? Why are you so incompetent? I don't think we should be working in here to begin with. Like, just go away. Dr. Sammy Wood, huh? I don't really have much to offer you, Sammy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a, a salvageable run or should we uh, start over? Like, I just, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I can barely afford this property to be, like, I need all of this stuff built, and I can't build it. Because I don't know, I have nowhere to put this. Because I think it's a three by three room. Four by three, so... may have to do it. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How can you be a litterer and get out of my hospital? Uh, 
Ah, uh, Nintendo Ninja. trying to find someone that's capable. All right, well, let's put you in here. Get on in there. Put you in. But why? If we're gonna need to build another one of these, I can't. I'll get this thing all fixed. Good. See, I've tried to do so much with so little. And, uh,. I think it's really biting me in the ass right now. Oh lord, they coming. Oh lord, they're here. trying to find my pharmacist. I think that's what's so jarring to me about this, is I hate the floor. I just need money. I need my All like the big ticket treatment item things are coming in, and I just don't have the money right now. I should also probably build a psychiatry, but like with what? I might be able to build a psychiatry here. Maybe. Okay, the pan blab's starting to pick up again. Okay, good, good. Okay, I like what I'm seeing here. What? Sure. So you get more looking at my cursed hallways? Do I have, first of all, before I start making any big ticket decisions, I've, <laughs> my researcher is also my psychiatrist. 
So there's that going for us too. Good, good, good. Okay. Before I do that. All of these are great to work with. Don't like litter. Hangry is what we take. Oh yeah, I got distracted again. If I have to pull my... Uh... My researcher off right now to focus on don't fuck this up okay still waiting for that Nice. How's this doing? Okay, still doing okay for that. I would want to encourage criminal behavior. Well, not too criminal. Bring the night owls near the milk. Again, so I've told you to get out of my hospital. Easy scan again. That's the teamwork, makes the dream work. did it guys poppy hunt you want to learn something huh what do you want to learn pharmacy management would actually be great for you I think you can go on break later I guess we should probably nab this piece of uh, land right now, huh? Like, why does it cost so much money? It's a slab. to build that and I'm going to build that I just need to get somebody anybody I really don't want to lose you god you guys are killing it in here job. The fuck are you too cold?
Yeah, I learned very quickly not to be uh, taken in. Are you done yet? Sweet. I can start moving this stupid shit out of the way. Sorry, hang on, there we go. I had it right there last time. The big ugly stuff out of the way here. Just put a stupid furnace. That looks literally like my fucking. Okay. Okay. I feel a little better now. What? God. Oh my god. I have to build. I might have to pull my researcher out for now. Take it back, you all suck. Jumbo McNally, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. The Jumbo Extra. Buy your tickets now, and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio. I figured that was good. that was going to be a thing we needed. So, because if I can train him and then only have him work in psychiatry and treatment based places, that might be the best. But yeah, I figured as soon as I did that, it was going to be a thing. Who's the right Poppy Hunt? Still not a deathless run, eh? Still not the patient's choice. 
Still beating Holistics, though. Still can't beat the Orb Foundation. Oops, I wasn't done looking at that yet. Good reputation. I have no money. <laughs> I don't think that might be the first time Holistics has beaten me. I thought it said curses per year. 31. Fucking Jumbo Megacorp. 200. Staff morale. My staff morale is pretty good. It's not so great at Holistics, so take that, I guess. No, we don't have too many nurses. We're just struggling for things right now. We just be struggling. Um, I'm just trying to think. If I did this... Yeah, if I did this... And then if I do... Just trying to eliminate. Remember, if you're a night owl, whatever you do, wherever you go, be sure to take a radio with you so you can listen to all of Harrison Wolf. I'm always there to keep you company. I mean, I have to start hiring doctors, guys. We can try. Oh, we don't need that. Nobody wants this room? No. Okay. Okay, I feel a little better. Sort of. Hey, well, you guys all know where you should be. Does nobody want to go over there? To, there we go. Okay, good, good. Researcher, anyway. Are you taking a break? It's time to fill your ears with sunshine because Ricky Hawthorne is back on Two Point Radio. 
We have hours of fun ahead, so don't go anywhere. Oh god, guys. Am I doing the right thing? Should I be doing this? <laughs> I can't actually build that because I have no money. I would love to be able to do this. For you guys. I think all of it. I don't know if we can pull this back. Like, I need the money to be able to upgrade this, like, the machines again. I still need to train uh, an idiot in Research 3. Which will, this is what's literally going to take us the longest time is trying to get somebody in research three. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Nope. 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 Okay. I already have one evil person. I can't take another. Keep missing my nurse. We're good for now. Like all my big ticket items, I just don't have. Yeah, I figured. So send in your favorite inspirational phrases, and we can spread our joy far and wide. Buddy, what are you doing over here? You can't even get onto him there. Okay, we'll come over here. Like, all I have are diagnosis rooms right now and uh, low ticket cure rooms. Here's another thing is I just don't want to invest the money in training these guys. Robin debauchery. How can you be cold?
just made myself a cup of tea. Is there anything more soothing and comforting? This next chip is very much like a cup of tea. It's wet, it's hot, and it's full of sugar. So let your ears break it down. Oh my god. I was going to say, there's no way you guys can be upset with your fucking pay. He's got it. Let him do his work. I just need like one more good nurse. Like I can't afford anything right now. Like this is the frustrating part is I, I just literally cannot afford. Let me guess. I don't know guys, I just think that this is like we're gonna, we're not getting to where we need to be. Like it's just, it's gonna be this. We're gonna get like maybe 50 grand and then boom, right back down to 10. <sighs> fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, I'm done. I'm done, this is just gonna be a constant struggle now I can feel it and I'm also really excited that we just wasted an hour and 20 minutes I know I'm like trying to convince myself I'm like please say yes no this it's not going to get any better it's it's becoming quite obvious I just don't think we're gonna like we would be able to pull that back okay can't have you. Okay, we'll definitely take you. Alrighty. Nope. Okay, we'll take we'll take you. Um nope. 
read a book once. Oh. Well, Bosworth Wright has green fingers, slightly heightened sense of style, but Xanathae Vacuum is funny. She's the girl next door and read a book once. I think we need to hire her. All right. Janitors, what are we dealing with here? Take you. Okay, we'll start with this first. We'll do that. I'll make it as close as I can. As always, we will start our GP office here. Nice and tight. I make these corners exceptionally tight. Sorry, I feel like I'm just fucking done today. Maybe I should unlock the, uh, the hot chocolate maker, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, do you hate it? I, I'm surprised that actually let me do that, but here we are. We don't complain. We get away with what we can get away with. You want to roast because that's what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, that sounds a little bench. Our first customer, everybody to their stations. Okay, we'll take you two. Guys, I said get to your stations. There you go. Holy hell. Oh yeah, is that an affront to the eyes yet? Hungry. Anxious. Lonely. Eat some cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. The snack for people with nothing to lose. <laughs> this is Two Point Radio. Okay, so we're starting off with an injection room. Interesting. It's here somewhere. To keep everything nice and close together, right guys? Right guys? doing pharmacy. Okay, that that's going to drive me nuts. We'll do that. fucking incompetence already. We just started.
I like how everybody's just sort of hanging out here. Yay, we did it. Very good. Today's nice words of the day quote comes from Bob Washcloth, who says, live every moment like you're late for work and the toast is on fire. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but every <laughs> What a visual. Toast. Maybe should, you know what else maybe we should have built last round? A ward. I didn't build a ward. Yep, that seems about right. Yeah, you did kill someone. But you've got, again, double treatment and pharmacy fucking management. Oh my god, help me make, like... in the injection room. Yeah. It's got a caffeine buzz. Don't fuck this up. digging what could that mean it's just I find it so fascinating Okay, 
Thanks. I hate this. I hate it, but I love it. And the news. Two Point County's oldest photography store is in trouble after a shortage in chemicals used during dark room processing. We'll let you know if there are any developments. I hate this. I think it's hideous. But, but I love it. It's really bothering me, like, how this is consistently asking me, like, hey, what do you want to do with this? Like, shouldn't you be telling me that? Stop having coffee. We've got, like, less time. Come and get warm in your little office here. Don't fucking kill this patient, please. Like, literally, what the fuck did I just say? I'm gonna lose my fucking mind in a second, to be honest. Like, I volunteered for some tests at Bungle Technologies. I don't know what they injected into me, but it doesn't seem to have had any effect. Eyeballs are supposed to be purple, right? We'll be right back here on Two Point Radio. I hate this game. That's probably why it was bothering me so much, but it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why all of a sudden it's doing this. It is just consistently asking me why. I only have one nurse that can do.
Godfrey Noir. That's the wrong ward. We need a stupid fracture ward. Traction bed first. You heard the person, let's go. If you're feeling ill, the last thing you want to do is pump your body full of cheap artificial medicine. So stay at a holistics hospital. Uh, Our natural remedies are so expensive, they just have to be good for you. Holistics, where you can only hope it sticks. <laughs> this is two point radio. I'm sorry, I do not want you working. You're gonna fuck it up. Is it time for a cursed toilet? The answer, of course, is yes. But don't worry. I'm sorry guys, at a certain point it just starts to become funny to me. Like how cursed can I make them, you know? Rashida, what is up? Thank you so much for the raid. How is everything? I hope your stream was well. Sure. What did I put down there? We need snacks. Again, so I want to reach into this stupid fucking thing. And legitimately. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god, hell yeah, I did. I loved Steam Hospital. There was a certain level where I stopped playing because I couldn't do it. Um, 
red shell, but yes, I used to play all the time. I'd start new files all the time up until a certain level. I think it was when you you got closer to like the city center. Obviously, it got a lot harder. Um, but you know, <laughs> micromanaging is hard. And uh, we just recently restarted this level because we got into a bit of a pickle uh, our last go round. And uh, my staff are nothing but idiots. Nothing but idiots. We can try. Um, so I'm leaning more towards it might be time to build a, a training room. Red Shell, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I forgot how loud my alerts are and they are startling me. Send for treatment. Yeah, why not? I don't know why it keeps asking me this. It's probably because I only have like the bare minimum. All right, here comes our fucking ward management and pharmacy idiot. Didn't you, you've killed how many people? I'm gonna fire you. Yeah. Get out. You better fucking not. You better fucking not. Get out. You're fired. You don't. Yeah. Get out. Get the fuck out of my goddamn team. Thank you. Litterer. I will hit them with the insult because they are literally stupid. Having bonus perks is supposed to be something great. Like ward management and treatment is supposed to be like a nice combo because that means you can manage a ward and you can dish out the treatment. And you're killing people. And that disgusts me. Perfect, and you're already on your way back to work. Okay, so we need to hire another nurse. We'll upgrade that. All right, what do we got? I'll take a sleepy. Um, however, ma'am, I do not want you working anywhere near a pharmacy. We've learned that the hard way. Yeah, you can do fracture. You can do everything else except pharmacy. Because we tried that before, it doesn't work. The jab master also needs to be repaired. Good lord. Oh yes, no, please. Raid and run all you need to do. You do not need to tell me. It's all good. I hope you have a good night. Stop asking me these questions and do what I request of you. God fucking damn. That's what I thought you said. I know y'all got, I know y'all can do things, can you not? Thank you. Yeah, we may need to uh, invest in more janitors. How? What a weird combo. Oh, I think we need to hire another assistant. I don't think we have any other assistants. <coughs> Get on in there, little buddy. Still waiting for that nurse. Our evolving reporter, Sally Fake Blanket, has been out recording a new segment on Two Point County's hospitals. I've never actually seen any of her pieces, but I'm told they're very good indeed. Keep up the stalling work, Sally. Oh my god. Okay. I think we need to... Potentially... Sorry, did you just say expensive? Oh, no. We can't do that. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, no. Send that person home. Okay. 
well, walk around them. There you go. Good job. Somebody has got those wheeze. Almost done. Bosworth bobbing, bobbing. What a powerful name. Well, I know, yeah, you've got what we need, so come on over to the fracture ward, I think. Wherever that may be. Pan's lab, you said, right? Oh, yeah. Cursed. Cursed rooms. No. <laughs> oh, I love the announcer. No, that goes in there. Get out of the pants lab. What? Send them for treatment. Stop asking me. Christ's sake. Well. Nope, not the button I wanted. This is gonna be a very interesting. Take a break. Get on break. Send the patient for treatment. How, speaking of, how is your treatment skill, Dr. Olivia? Well, it's a 50 50 chance. Anybody here a gambling man? your treatment skill at 90% why are you so useless is it because you're an idiot I think that man might be an idiot Who is it? Who is it? Albert Pucker? It's like feast or famine with you. Okay. Nothing but consistent micromanaging.
utterly fucking useless. Uh, I think we learned that that is not physically possible. Inside your humdrum worries, it's time to stimulate the intellect and inspire the soul. That's right, this is Sir Nigel Bickleworth, here on Two Point Radio. Why are you sitting all the way in the back? If we're gonna make things cursed, then we might as well make them extra cursed, you know? Why all of a sudden it's just, it's consistently asking me, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? What about this? Like, bitch, I don't know. Oh my god, I feel like we got the slowest person doing this. Kinda, we did, sort of.
Oh, so I guess we didn't do good. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, you know what I think it's time for? Did I pass it already? Well, we could always use more phones. They're so fun. Um, I'm actually looking for, I think I did pass it already. Oh yeah. I hate how large this thing is though. It's so big. Right in the middle. Send home. Send home. Nice pies. Okay, we gotta keep going here. Well, we've got three machines, machines upgraded, so I guess that's good, right? Still looking for a researcher as well. Well, I think I'm gonna have to do it, guys. As you know, an expert on local history. So from time to time, I shall endeavor to educate you all on matters of two points past. For instance, did you know the recently constructed hospital was built on a hamster burial ground? Of course, I for one would not be surprised if this parasite hotel attracted a whole new kind of rodent. Next, another stirring piece of contemporary music. Huh. Interesting. Still looking for that doctor to hire, too. Don't know where that third doctor is.
I mean, we do need a researcher. something. Let it not be said that Nigel Bickleworth is an obsolete stick in the mud. Today we tackle the matters of that most futuristic okay. communication methods, the electronic mail. The etiquette here is to write as one would a 19th century epistle. This means one may wait two or three weeks to reply in order to counterbalance the frightful immediacy of computerized letters. We're kind of running into the same issue we ran into last time where we just don't have the large ticket treatments because uh, we don't have the customers. The customers, Jesus. We don't have the hospital patients. Well, we have we can maybe do a cryptology thing. Xanthe vacuum. Here's our star right here. There she is. All right. Shouldn't have messed with her. Shouldn't have messed with her. $865. Hell yeah. Jesus, my man is slow. Jumbo Medical Solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. We take Jumbo Card, Jumbo Mega Card, and Jumbo Plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. Jumbo Medical Solutions. Fork it over. 24 hours a day. This is Two Point Radio. No. 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 
Man, that took a while. I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. That's all I can say. I was gonna say, if this person dies, I have no words. I have no words for this. Another titbit of two-point history for you. Did you know the medieval monk, Matthew Wobotide, founded a monastery on what is now a pet shop? Pity the animals don't keep a vow of silence. I simply cannot stand all that squawking. Not dissimilar to the music coming up next. Again. 80% treatment. And still a fuck up. They do be wildin'. They be wild out there.
We needed that so very badly. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna call it here. Uh, my brain is melting very, very, very slowly uh, in this entirety. Um, I hope we made the right decision. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, but I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. Good lord. I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, and that's just because we need to train and we need to upgrade. And that's why we're gonna be here for 8,000 years. And I'm not looking forward to it. I also can't find my mouse, there we go. So we'll see. Hopefully we can make a pretty decent dent tomorrow. We're getting the big ticket items in, which is good, but we're also running out of initial hospital space. So I'm gonna need to start saving for uh, more land. So exciting. It's so exciting. Um, anyway, Threadshell, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Rishido, thank you so much for the raid. As always, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic um, day tomorrow. It's Thursday. New Year's is almost here. Um, Europe, thank you so much for giving me company. Insanity, thank you so much for popping in. And Mr. Robus, I know you're there somewhere. I hope you have a good rest of the shift. Catch you guys tomorrow at the same time if you have time to hang out, as always. Have a fantastic day, guys. Later.